What is going on guys? It's your boy Brother Howie here or Tim. Welcome to today's YouTube video. So today we'll be talking about what supplements you should take when you're starting out in the gym and yeah, pretty much just that. And I'll also explain um what you should keep using them if you decide to keep training, um and all that. But um before we get into that, I just want to um say sorry for not uploading for the last five days i've been haven't really had any ideas for videos haven't really thought of anything to upload like i've kind of been giving infinite warfare a break just because you know the new cock comes out in 11 days so or 12 days so you know like I'm, i was getting i was getting kind of bored playing god so um but i just took a break um, and I tried, I tried uploading a uh, iMovie that I created the other day. It consisted of my gym session from last Friday. But for some reason, when I'm trying to upload onto YouTube from iMovie, it does, for some reason, it just doesn't work. So, um, sorry that didn't work. But anyway, so, pretty much, um, when you're starting out at the gym, you want to make sure that you, um, obviously, before you even start with supplements, you want to make sure that you get a good program. Um, obviously you want to learn how to you know, learn the quick techniques and the you know, quick way to execute a certain exercise. That's when it makes sure you nail your technique. Once you've done that, then that's when you can you know, start going on different programs and then finding out which one works best for you. In terms of supplements, um, what you want is you'll want a good quality whey protein. So... Even if you're trying to put on mass like me, don't bother going for mass gain this because most of them just contain fillers and all sorts of things that don't really do any good. So, um, obviously, I don't take this this particular protein anymore because it just particular flavor doesn't taste nice. But this brand, um, Op Optimum Nutrition Gold Standard, um, it's a very very good brand, very very trusted brand among lots of professional bodybuilders. Um, this whey protein is very, very good because it has, it's made from whey protein isolate. It's a primary source, so it's 100% of the protein from whey. So if you don't know whey comes from, it comes from milk. Um, it's gluten free, so if you're, um, if you're kind of gluten, then don't worry, you can have this. It's also a banned substance free and it has 29 servings, so it pretty much has 24 grams of protein, 5.5 grams of BCAs, branched chain amino acids. I mean, it has 4 grams of glutamine and glutamic acid. So, if it, uh, so what glutamine does, it helps um, repl replenish your uh, glycogen levels. So the glycogen levels are the ones that give you the energy. So say if you're doing a heavy squat session or a heavy deadlift session, your glycogen levels are going to go down because you know, all, you're going to be using a lot of energy when you're performing those two lifts. So you want to make sure that you, you know, um, top up your glycogen levels with glutamine after training to make sure that you're ready for the next training session. Um, the next thing, so um, has three grams of carbs. So it's obviously just straight protein. Um, it's low in sugar, it only has two grams of sugar. So it's very, very, very good. Um, so I'll read out the ingredients for you. So protein blend, so whey protein isolate, so it's milk, whey protein concentrate, um, so it has whey peptides, so that is, it's just normal whey, um, soy lecithin, um, that's flavours, so all that pretty much, so, so it contains, contains milk and soy, may contain egg, peanuts and tree nuts, so if you're allergic to eggs or peanuts or tree nuts, sorry, but you can't have this, because if you do, you probably have a, a, a allergic reaction to it so um but pretty much so you can pretty much have this whenever you need protein so i normally have my, have my protein straight after the training session if you're looking to um put on weight and size then you can you can even take this in between meals so you can normally say so have breakfast you can have another shake in between and then lunch and then have another shake and then to train, or what I normally do, I normally have breakfast, um, and then I normally just have a snack in between, and I have my pre-workout drink, whatever I have, 
and I train and I have my into workout drink which normally consists of either my BCAs which I'm going to show you in a second um, or a protein so um, but yeah so anyway if you're looking if you're looking for a good whey protein definitely check out Golden Standard um, a very very good good uh, good product um, that's that one um, in terms of BCAs um, so I won this one in a giveaway so it's Nutribolics uh, Anabolic State so what this this is similar this works s similarly to how the protein powders work. So it um, helps support stimulated lean muscle growth. So it helps the muscle growth. So you don't you don't have to buy a protein powder if you don't want to if you can't afford it. You can just get this. This was only I think like 30, 40 bucks. So it's very very cheap. Um, it helps support into a post training recovery. So it helps you know to get to ready for the next training session. Um, helps support reduced muscle soreness, also known as delayed onset muscle soreness, DOMS. Um, so, generally, from my own knowledge and experience, generally you'll experience DOMS more when you're doing lots more high rep training. So, if you're doing like very, very like hypertrophy, like going for size, um, you'll generally feel it a lot more than if you're doing for strength or lower, lower sets. Um, so lower reps, but more sets. So you're not going to be feel as sore, but you're going to be drained more energy. Um, so pretty much. So this is this is a very good BCA. If you're, if you're looking for BCA, definitely check this one out. I'm um, going also some up. There's also BCAs by Gold Sand as well. Um, they also have a so there's amino energy. That's another one you can check out. Um, there's also um, a Gold Sand and workout by some company. They're very good as well. So that's pretty much that's for the BCAs. Um, check it back on bag. Um, and a poo workout. So this is the poo workout that I just tried today. It's very very good. Um, so if you're new to poo workout, um, don't start with one scoop. Start with half a serving or half a, half a scoop to assess your tolerance. And then once you've gotten used to it, then slowly increase increase the scoop size. So I normally so with this one, it says. I've consumed one serve, one heap scoop, mixed with 250 milliliters of water 30 minutes prior to exercise. And it says, due to the extreme potency, users may wish to begin by consuming one and a half a serve to assess tolerance. Recommended daily consumption, one serving. So pre-workout, you're, you're not meant to take pre-workout more than once a day. If you do, you're asking, to, you're asking for death. Because pre-workout's not made, made to be consumed more than once. But anyway, so this is, the brand is Anabolics Nutrition, so definitely check out this pre-workout. Very, very good. So if you're wondering what um, ingredients are in pre-workouts, so most of them will normally, most of them will contain creatine, um, which is another product I will explain afterwards. Um, better alanine, uh, which is another another ingredient. It's very, very good. Um, and then all of them. So what I'll do, I'll read out the ingredients that are in this pre-workout. So if you're looking to so if you are interested in, in checking this out, you can either go to Nutrition Warehouse or ASN. Um, so anyway, so ingredients. So you have so ingredients. So you have so this is pretty much what's in it. So you have obviously um, so sodium, beta alanine, di creatine, malolate, citrulline, malate. I don't know. I don't know if I'm saying this word properly. Anyway, taurine, um, uh, okay, some of these words are really, really hard to actually say, so I can't read all of them, but pretty much, this is pretty much a very good poo workout, it doesn't have any, any banned ingredients in it, unlike some poo workouts do, like Jacked, and all those other ones, so if you're, so before, if you're looking for a good, good poo workout, definitely check out this one, um, and then for creatine, so with creatine, creatine, um, how creatine works, it um, increases the muscular size and muscular strength. So how it works, it pulls water into the cell. So it's very important that when you take creatine that you drink more water than you normally do. Because if you don't drink enough water, you will get dehydrated. Um, so how I normally take creatine, I normally do a loading phase for 5 to 10 days. So you take 5 grams four times a day for a week 
and then after that you do a maintenance for two weeks so you just take five grams one once a day so preferably after training and then once you've done that for two weeks you then take a two week break cycle off and then repeat again but um from i've done some research and i've read that you don't actually need to cycle cycle off creatine but i do anyway just you know it's because I've always done it, um, anyway, yeah, so, um, so that's pretty much it for this video, um, hope you guys found it useful, so if you're looking for a gym program, hit me up on, uh, Twitter or Facebook, you can message me on my Facebook page, um, I'll link that down below as well, um, or if, if you, um, if you have my Snapchat as well, so I can, I want to start making some some snapchat videos as well because i'm not really doing that much but um uh, make sure you add me on snapchat as well for that to happen um but anyways hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did smash that thumbs up comment down below what you thought of the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel anyways this is gonna be boy that i don't howie out peace out guys